like to jumpstart today talking about unconditional love. As human beings, we will not always love unconditionally. As a parent who loves my children, this concept is a difficult reality to embrace about myself. But the truth is, hard as I try, it is still a hit and miss reality. Have you ever had one of your children tell you something that has already happened, you wish with all your heart it wouldn't have, yet there is nothing you can do about it? It happened to me very recently. In the process of my child telling me about this life-changing event, I became suddenly aware in the core of my being that my response would have enormous consequences. Had I not known God, had I not known His patient and unconditional love, my human response may have been one of disappointment and insensitive condemnation. But I do know God, and even though all of these thoughts flew through my mind in a matter of seconds, I thought about how God would have responded. I thought about all the mistakes I've made and how God's unconditional love, no matter what, is what I most need. And you know what? I trust that He knew this life-changing event was coming before I did. And it gave me the wisdom to know at that second that what this child needed was my unconditional love more than anything else. I somehow knew and understood that nothing would change the circumstances of the moment. I had to let go of my overwhelming feelings of anguish and let this child know that I would be there and we would walk through this together. Somehow, on this particular occasion, God gave me the ability to give the unconditional love that He gives me. It was one of the most grace-filled moments I've ever had as a parent. So today, let's ask Him to embrace Proverbs 2 that tells us when wisdom enters your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, discretion will preserve you and understanding will keep you and deliver you from the way of evil. Let's go to it, make it a great day and I'll see you next time.